here's the story. Last year I started trading Artbox every single day and uh, I went up to 184, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. No! One more day and it would be 190! <laughs> But anyway, last week I decided to start again creating artwork every day, but I actually created four. And out of that four, this one is actually my favorite one. And I'm actually gonna show you how you can create this in Photoshop. But to be able to show you the tutorial, we'll have to go back in time to the last week. So I will have to use my time machine, which is my hat of course. So see you seven days ago. Wait, can I say that? Anyway, so today is a new day and for my daily artwork challenge I need to create something new and you're gonna see the whole process from how I find the right images, how I create them in Photoshop, what kind of effects I use, my whole process and the including all, all of my weird and uh, crazy stuff that I do. So anyway, let's just, let's just get started. So the first website that I usually go for images is actually unsplash.com and then I go here and then for example I go to collections and I try to find different interesting collections and let's see no 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 you know it's like when I have, when I look at the image it just has to pop in my mind the idea for the artwork and right now nothing really pops in my mind so I just need to keep looking So when I don't find something here, I get frustrated and uh, I need to go to a different website. Let's go to pexels.com, also another website that you can look for images there. And here is the same thing, we just go to explore and try to find something really nice. I love this one, look, because the background is so simple, you can create so many stuff, you can usually cut out the person if the background is simple, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's do that. Let's try um, black and white image, maybe. Oh my god, today is such a bad day. Nothing comes to my mind. And okay, let's try black and white, uh, black and white attractive. I'm ugly as fuck, so maybe I just can find someone attractive and create an artwork from that person. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. This one actually looks. This, this one looks nice, I would say. Yeah, let's just give it a try. I, I don't know yet what I'm going to create with it, but just, you know, I can just download it and start playing with it and maybe something comes to my mind. So the first thing I actually want to do, as you can see here we have this kind of lines, and I want to delete these lines, and then I want to insert an image inside his head, basically. Kind of flower going inside his head. Is that too crazy? Let's insert our image inside Photoshop. So first of all, I need to delete the black colors. You can just go to select color range, and then I can click here to select all the black color. Click OK. And I got a mask like this and create here. And as you can see, mask is created with this background layer. Uh, let's just do some, let's say gradient. Just as an example. And choose any kind of gradient. Bring this down. As you can see, so these parts are now empty. Do I have any flowers here? Oh, we could try this one. So let's just put it here. Let's bring it here like this. And we just select the mask, we select brush tool, we make it white, and then we just start, you know, bringing these parts back. You know, I could select this mask, and then I could just use brush tool and start deleting this part. Choose black color and start deleting this part. The plant is kind of going out of his face so it's getting out of his uh, face I mean uh, that's actually not bad I think I failed I mean it looks okay but not really what I imagined in my head <sighs> okay I need to do some a pause before I think of something else someone is calling hello yes oh it's the lord of photoshop you know just like the lord of the rings but he doesn't need a ring to make people disappear he can just do it in photoshop so you're telling me you can go to learnfromfred.com and then you can start your free trial and get access to many different cool projects and classes for free for a whole month? So you're telling me this stuff doesn't exist on YouTube? Oh, that's a unique special artwork. Okay, yeah, maybe I should give it a try. By the way, I got the new shoes. You have to agree they look nice. 
So I need a new idea. So what if I add noise on these lines, just like I did on previous artworks, and then just make everything colorful. By the way, you see that guy here? You see what he's saying? He says, the empire needs you. That basically means that you need to subscribe or this guy will come after you. So this is how we're going to start. Let's go to filter other HSP HSL. This is going to help us to make this colorful and I'm gonna choose this HSP and HSL, click OK and BOOM! Huh? Have you seen that? <laughs> so now for example if I go to select color range and then I just click uh, here let's say as you can see now I select all these black colors basically and uh, let's click OK now and uh, now I can create the mask so now as you can see the background is empty that's what we need let's just create a copy of this one so you can just hold alt or option to create a copy let's delete this mask here we need the full image and now if I select this image and go to filter noise add noise and then I am going to add noise more 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 Whoa! what is that see what's going to happen we actually start getting these things I mean wow this actually starts looking really good I mean I thought it's gonna be shit but <laughs> It doesn't look too bad, so let's see what we can create from this. And uh, like this, this should be fine. Uh, let's click OK. So now I actually want to change some colors. So let's actually go to hue saturation, create hue saturation. Let's play with colors. Let's make saturation higher and uh, let's make this something like that. And also I want this to be attached only to this layer. So click right, can create clipping mask. Okay, this looks good. So. What what should I do now? I have no idea what's next. Okay, and uh, let's actually change these positions because I think it's better if this is down here. Whoa! Did you see that? Okay, let's actually delete this uh, noise from this part. So if I go to this mask here, I take my brush tool and then I have uh, I select white color and I start deleting. So what's going to happen? I. Uh, you see so because we had uh, this mask here we were seeing the layer that's actually below so we were seeing this layer that's why it wasn't the color that i wanted so now we just need to delete this part yeah great yeah let's let's delete the background so we just we can actually select all of this and then we can create a group and now i'm gonna cr uh, i'm just gonna go here select this uh, where is this thing quick selection tool and i will try to select the background boom 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 why i'm selecting that so let's actually go back i mean i need the hair what are you doing okay perfect now let's Okay, let's just invert this. <laughs> I made this too dramatic, okay? So, in a, again, to invert this, you can just select this and then you can just click Ctrl or Command plus I. BOOM! Let's select our brush tool, let's make this color white and let's, uh, let's actually bring back some of the parts that this guy is missing. Oh my god, what happened to his neck? Someone was very hungry, huh? I have no idea what I'm talking about, like seriously. And uh, by the way, guys, we can we can switch between these colors by just clicking X, X, X. So you don't have to uh, go here and switch manually. So if I click X, X, you see here, they're going to switch. Let's actually click twice here, and then we have properties panel open, and then we can go to select and mask. And uh, now when we got that, we need to make this a little bit smooth, like this. Okay. And we also need to increase some contrast. So, for example, if we look here, the uh, the the edges are going to be better. For example, when smooth is not zero, as you can see, it's not that smooth. When we have some smooth, it's better. It's more smooth contrast. Uh, yeah, that's good. So now, he has a curly hair. How we can actually change that? I mean, we I mean, he's still going to have curly hair. We're not going to change his curly hair. But I mean, we have we need to make it look realistic. So we need to remove his hair so that it looks better because right now it looks just horrible, horrible in other words. And so first, but first let's create the background. So let's go here, gradient, and uh, let's. I'm just gonna select one of my ready background. So it's just three colors, uh, orange, red, and purple. Let's click OK. 
let's bring this down let's click right and let's go to rasterize layer now let's click right and let's go to convert to smart object Bam, now it stays as it, as it needs to be. Now let's go to filter, noise and add noise. And we're also going to add some noise here, but not that much. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Boom, this should be fine. Good job. Uh, now what I want to do actually, first of all, I want to make this even more golden. So what I need to do is I want to open this. I need to create an, a new layer just inside this group. I need to take my brush. I need to take a uh, golden yellow color like this. And let's actually start drawing. Let's make this, let's make hardness a little bit less. So let's actually start drawing. So let's actually uh, click right here and add mask to selection. So we don't go outside this selection. Let's go back to this layer and continue drawing. So you're probably wondering, what the hell is he doing? He's destroying everything. But I mean, yes, I am, but I have something in my mind. Uh, now uh, what we should do let's go to normal and now we can start playing with this uh, blending mode Ooh, that's too much probably wow that's actually not bad so yeah what we can actually do right now is I can go here and then I can make this bigger I can go here I can make hardness zero and then I can just you know just do a little bit like this so this uh, the border here is not too harsh so it's smooth now I need to uh, get rid of this selection, the deselect. Now I go back to this. So now we need to make this curly. How are we going to do that? Da, 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 da. And you're going to see a really big secret. Nobody is going to ever tell you that. Except me, of course, because I'm your friend and your best teacher when it comes to Photoshop, of course. What we need to do, let's go to File, New. We need to create a new layer. So we just go here, click right, and choose Curve. Now let's actually take a brush tool. Let's make this really small. Let's make the hardness 100%. Uh, 100%, let's make sure we select black color. Make this even smaller. And now let's draw a curly hair. So it's going to go something like uh, that. That's my curly hair, perfect, right? So now when we did that, let's just go to edit and let's go to, to define a brush preset and see, we have a curly hair like this. So just called curly hair. Good job. Now let's make this, now let's go back here. Now we can actually close this. We just needed to uh, create this kind of brush. Now let's go to this mask here. Make sure you have black color selected on this mask. And if I just do that, boom, curly. No, I'm joking. Let's go back. Uh, let's actually go here to uh, brush settings and if you don't have it here then you can just go to window and find brush settings there so now when we did that uh, let's actually make this smaller like really really small that's too yeah like that's, that's, that's fine let's make spacing bigger so you can see now we have these curly hairs flying one by one where's my tea so now let's go to shape dynamics and uh, let's actually increase size jitter. Okay, when we increase size jitter, as you can see, now there are different size. One of them is big, another one is small, and so on. That's actually what we mean. We also need to increase angle jitter. So as you can see, now it's all like this. So as you can see, there are now different angles. Uh, roundness jitter a little bit. Uh, let's uh, go to scattering. Let's increase scatter. We want to increase scatter. See what's going to happen. Now one of them is up, down, up, down. So it's like this. And then we go to count and uh, we can actually, this, yeah, this should be fine. So now when we did that, let's actually give this brush a try, okay? Let's see if it works out well. So let's select this, let's go here and let's actually make sure you have black color. If this is 100% and even make sure you're on this mask and if we start drawing, see what's going to happen. Okay, we start deleting, I mean, we start actually creating a curly shapes here right now. You just need to draw really, really lots of curly hair. It actually works. I mean, I'm not surprised. I have done this before. <laughs> they don't think that I'm doing it first time and I'm like, wow, it works. No, I have done this before, okay? I'm a professional. Let's actually continue doing that. So what you can actually do, you can increase the count in order to make it a little bit faster for you and also scattering. So when you increase the count, you have more brushes basically. And yeah, when you increase the count, it's much faster right now. Oh, let's do actually one more thing. Let's. Uh, I wanna see. I wanna do one more thing. I wanna try it. It's brightness, contrast. 
Let's increase the brightness. Yeah, that looks nice. Good job, good job, good job, guys. That's epic. So let's go back to the future. Say hi to the guy from the future. So what you just saw was actually me creating this artwork here and uh, as you can see it got like wait how many likes did it get? It got like almost 500 likes and it went pretty well. People really loved it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you on the next lesson. Bye bye. <laughs> oh my god. I need to cut my hair. I mean, I look so bad. Look at that.